Hey Ray's here with the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered Achievement Guide. We'll be going for the Achievement Guide Off-Road Innovation for driving a mile 1.6 kilometers on shortcuts in a race and win in the Porsche 959. Now, I'm going to do this in the area called Rockingham Point. Inside here will be a specific mission that you can use this Porsche. Pretty sure this is the mission that you have to use this Porsche and only this Porsche. Now obviously you can do this on a few other areas as well. That limit you to the Porsche itself. All we will be doing on the area called Fast Lane in Rockingham Point. Like I said, you could do it on another area as well, but this is like specific to the Porsche, so I'm just going to keep it simple for the video guide purposes, and I'm going to show you what I basically did in the guide. Now I won't be talking through the entire thing; just basically copy what I do, and you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Just as long as you maintain shortcuts as best you can. Um, I'm not sure if I took every shortcut because there are some shortcuts in some levels that aren't really too beneficial but yet obviously it will add up to your progress to what you need to and to win the race with achievement but keep that in mind not all shortcuts are completely beneficial you won't also get the achievement obviously until after you finish the race because you need to win it as well this could take a few tries it took me at least five or so tries to get this achievement with things like that constantly happening in the game where you just have the unpredictability of the AI smashing into pedestrians and getting in your way and smashing you and just being completely cheap like this game always does. A few pointers that I can recommend you to do is not only do the shortcuts help out obviously to get into first but make sure you stay in the oncoming lane as much as you can. It helps you gain a lot of boost so that way you can constantly be boosting to catch up in case if you end up messing up. This first shortcut right here is probably the longest on this map, so it'll give you a good chunk of your progress you need to get to your shortcut progress for the achievement to win. So I recommend taking this one always. It's not completely beneficial, as you can see I am still in last place, but I end up still winning in this video and getting the achievement, so like I said, try to maintain your constant on coming going as long as you can it'll get you a lot of boost to catch up if you are way behind like I am let's make sure you, you can help it to stay in that lane because if you stay in that lane your boost will keep filling and the longer you are in that lane it'll constantly fill even faster so just follow what I do here and try your best to make sure you are on shortcuts at all times and on coming as best you can I know it's not going to be as easy as I say it is because it took me several tries to get this achievement without being able to lose the race every time. The shortcuts isn't really a matter of missing them or not. It's not too bad once you run this course a few times you should know when they're coming and just kind of get the beat down to when you need to turn. Now that shortcut there, there's a little one right there to the left. I end up skipping that one. It's not really too beneficial. It's just a little bit of a shortcut. You don't need to hit that one so just stay off that one and make sure you just stay on the oncoming to gain some boost. That being said, I'm just going to let the video play out the rest of the way and hope you guys get this achievement and good luck. I hope this helped you out. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will get back to some more achievement guides.